Williams there yeah. for O'Meara, Martin, Swallow, and in the green vest there, of course, is Sumner. A very, very tidy young bench. So here we go. Start of the season for these two sides. Not a great one for the umpire. Lucky not to be recalled there. McKenzie off halfback. You'll see that a lot this year. Matera, a little highish tackle there. On no surprise, Gee Ablett gets the first possession of uh, the year for the Gold Coast. Started in the first centre bounce. And let's just see how much they do use him as a permanent forward. I, I love the way the game's going with that. Uh, Joe Watson pushes forward. Trent Cochin will play more forward as well. And hopefully more Gary Ablett as well. Yeah, and we saw uh, Pendlebury and Nate Fife pushing forward last night. And I think with the interchange cap, we will see that the best midfielders now will go to full forward and have a rest there. I was asking Mark Williams how they divide them up in the quarter, and he said, look, once they get to 35 in a quarter, the red light comes on. They don't necessarily use precisely 35, but they just all of a sudden say, hey, we've got to be a little careful from here on. Yeah. So there is no particular recipe to it, I guess. And it's Prestia, the runner-up in the best and fairest, runner-up to Gary Ablett. What an effort from a young kid. He's one of the most improved players in the competition, Dale Presti. I, I loved it, uh, BT. I know he's one of your men yet. Mm. For on him early, he took his game to a whole new level. Yep, and there he is again. Got the little one in, Ablett in tight. Shark by Delidio. Looked really sharp in the warm-up, Delidio. What's his pre-season been like, Richo? Yeah, really good again. He, uh, I think he led the... All comers for ratings points in the pre-season. Little uh, hit there by Alex Rance on Gary. Not much in that. Saw Chris Newman there just running the ball out. He's going to play a role across half forward, which was something new for New. He played his whole career in the back line, of course. A little sharp handball out by Matty Thomas. Tell you about his story later. You all know him from Port Adelaide, of course. McGarry medalist of last year. Great story for him to be back involved at the top level. Here's Rance. Fierce competitor in the back half for the Tigers. Flossed home. Morris back to where it came. Nice running. Ellis was involved as well. Flossed home started it all and drills it home for a magnificent goal from half back to half forward. Well, that is great signs from this young man. He's a, a future leader of the Richmond Football Club and that shows you why. He's attack on the footy. He's very brave, but... He has the ability to run and carry and link and, and terrific skills there to be able to finish off from outside 50 after a good 60 or 70 metre run before this. So what a great uh, setup goal from the Tigers. Played 18 games, Nick Flostone in his debut season last year. Mainly across half back, but he's really exciting. Great to see him getting on the scoreboard early. Been keeping a bit of an eye on uh, Ablett. And it looks as though Brett Delidio is trying to track him around, which would be sensational if that happens for four quarters. They had a bit of success. Dan Jackson go. kicked goals on Ablett last year. They might be trying to oh. do the same thing again tonight. I reckon Delidio will get sick of that after a while. <laughs> he just can't get the footy, won't he? Out of the middle they come. The Tigers. Missed ball there by Delidio. Landed with Matera. Advanced it inside 50. Lynch was the target. In the end, not able to get it to him. Pettit was involved. Boy, he zigged and zagged oh, there. Asprey advantage, advantage. and his goal. The advantage is paid and Prestia gets the first for the Gold Coast. Yeah, good response from the Gold Coast Suns, immediately answering there, and there we go, kick a goal, come off the ground, see that so often these days, but Dave Asprey gathered the ball there, and just, you don't have that much time in AFL footy to make decisions, you've got to make them quickly, and unfortunately he hesitated, a great tackle, and it was rewarded with a goal for the Gold Coast Suns. This is what you want to see. Charlie Dixon's playing his 36th game of AFL footy tonight. Your big forward, front on, aggressive tackle. Maybe a little bit lucky not to give away a free kick, but as they get bigger and stronger and a few more pre-seasons, you'll get more of that, and they become a much better side, the Gold Coast. Beautiful bounce by Razor Ray Chamberlain in the middle. Riscatelli look for a big year from this man. An uninterrupted pre-season, and Lynch gets in the front and takes a very nice mark. Watch for that combination this year. Well, this is a really, really good start. The Gold Coast Suns are really good at scoring from stoppages, and that was a really clean clearance out of the middle. Get the ball forward, and then your key forwards take contested marks. That's what you want to see. So Lynch and Dixon 
potentially involved in the first few goals. That is fantastic. Game 39 for Lynch comes in. Needs a little left to right. He's got it working the other way. You can see the result. And the incredible thing about that forward line is with Tom Lynch and Charlie Dixon, they're both 200 centimetres. In years gone by, that's two genuine ruckmen there. But those blokes are key forwards. They're agile. They're quick. They can run. That's going to be very, very hard to match up for opposition teams. Flostone, the kicker, looking for Hampson. Hampson, unable to hold. Thomas in and under. O'Meara, quick hands. Pedard was in the way, though. It'll come back, although dropping the easy one was May. He's got a couple coming at him. Did well to get out of it. Broughton, the former docker, off the knee there of Thomas. That should be a throw in, and is. He just made a meal of that chest mark. A good opportunity gone begging there to win the ball back for the Gold Coast Suns. Hampson doing well. He's a beautiful tap ruckman to advantage. Hampson, I think that's his strength. Yeah, he's naturally pretty good at that BT. Yeah. He's got great athleticism. It's just the around the ground stuff, the marking and yeah. the, the coordination stuff that's got a bit of bit of work to catch up on. Grig, ball out there to Rant, who had to go with McKenzie coming at him and cost him. So McKenzie got a lethal left foot, as we know. Yeah, that's something. Long ball in, Dixon the target, Lynch in front. Holding. Interference, advantage, advantage, advantage paid. Advantage. Able to keep going here. And another one, it'll be Day with the finisher. Well, if I was Blue McKenna, that would be as exciting as I, I could hope for to have Day, Dixon, Lynch all involved. And McKenzie's kick was so smart, Richard. It's what yeah. you would have loved. You would have loved just the one one on one chance. And uh, he read it beautifully. And the big boys. Started pretty well. Teams are looking like they're going to be prepared to just move it forward this year. Kick it forward as quickly as you can. Your forwards love that. Give you an opportunity, one out to compete. Well, that was a mark, but the, it was the free kick for the infringement was paid instead of the mark. That's why he was able to play on. Only two marks so far in the six minutes of this game, Cameron Ling. Yes, BT, but uh, the excitement down in here is for what you just saw on your screens there. Jack Martin is standing up, ready to come on. The crowd is genuinely excited about watching him. And then add this to that, Lingy, and it works nicely. Stanley from 52, three in a row for Gold Coast. What about that? Well, that's as good as you get, and it's the master again in the middle of the ground. They're getting some real clean centre bounce clearances. That's a concern for Richmond. They need to tighten up at the centre bounces. You can't uh, let the ball come out of there that easily. It puts a lot of pressure on your defence, and what a great goal from Stanley from outside 50, set up by just Ablett's brilliance in the middle. Talking to uh, some Gold Coast people during the week, Dars, and they think Ablett is as good as he can get now. That it's hard to believe he can get any better, but they think he'll get better by the, his teammates around him growing and, and, yeah. and making him better because he's had to sort of carry them to a certain degree. Yeah, which is one of the most extraordinary things for me, the way Gary Ablett has played amongst young teammates. And you're right, wait till O'Meara's flying, yeah. Martin's flying, they start having to tag Swallow, they start having to go to Prestia. I mean, up, he, he might just enjoy this next five or six Absolutely. years, Gary, but more than he's ever enjoyed it. And there's the matchup that was talked about during the week. Matt Thomas upgraded as a rookie onto the senior list, and he's got the job now in Ablett. They need to tighten up on him. Morris to Martin. Halfback needs some help. Morris gives him that little overlap running. And now looking for someone further down the field. Couldn't find it. Well, this Interception is a, by Prestia. The concern for Richmond, they're high handballs. Seven kicks, 23 handballs, and you eventually turn it over playing that way. Oh, Mira. How clean was that? Magnificent. Can he finish for four straight goals for the Gold Coast? These young men are on fire. Well, that is just extraordinary. And a great call from you, BT. He did not deviate at all running back with the flight there Jaeger O'Meara he knew the traffic was coming and to have that poise under pressure is just something special you can't teach look at that not even a thought about what was coming the other way and then the clean hands it's greasy it's hot it's yeah. humid up here and then the finish how do you describe that it's just extraordinary well he did everything there that showed all the skills that he has the clean one-handed take the agility 
the courage to not take his eyes off the ball and then the finishing skills. He's an amazing player for his age and the Tigers, seven kicks, 23 handballs, only one mark. They cannot uh, get control of the game. They need to slow it down. Four goals in a row now to the Suns. Nichols in the middle for Gold Coast. There's another one of their gun youngs. Swallow. There is Nichols. A little bit of poise shown with the footy. Hang on to it there. Did really well. Another entry. Here comes Dixon. In the middle of him was Stanley. Tried to put his gloves up. Couldn't get hold of it. Did well Martin, the youngster, in his first game. Day knocks it down. Little handball to Dixon. How well did he pick that up, Dixon? For a big fellow. Out to swallow. Snap. Miss. Well, Lee, I reckon this is, what are we... 10 minutes into Richmond season, a great challenge for them to do what Damien Harvick wants them to do, and that's not get scored against in big momentum patches and be able to slow the game down. Ling, it's something that you did extraordinarily well at Geelong. What does he say? What, what do the leaders out there do now, Lingy, to make sure this one doesn't get away from them? Well, exactly right, Darcy. And it does come to the leaders. There's not a lot in a patch like this yep. that Hardwick can do. He can make a couple of moves. Blokes like Cochin just really controlling the footy now is a good start. But they've got to start winning it around the contest. Ablett, Stanley, those players are having a huge influence around the contested ball. Well, the first signs of it there, just a little bit of controlling. He wasn't off half-back. They didn't get that mark in the end, but at least they've controlled the footy here. There is Cochin, needs some running support, had to go back in search of it to Hampson. He wasn't ready to accept. In amongst it there is Griffiths, and at least they've got it at their end. Yeah, well, at least now they can set up uh, for a stoppage, Richmond. Trent Cochin got involved three or four times there, the captain. So that, that, that's a good sign in that passage of play that he stood up and, and got involved. Here is Hampson, really good at that. First hands on the footy, knocking to advantage. Excellent work from him. Conker put his head over the footy. Ablett was in there. There's Rewalt. He wanted a high one. It wasn't there. Conker now. Interception here. Involved is Martin again. There he is, the young man. Hands. Has great in-close hands. Matera's got to go back and get it. Grigg did well. Risk a tally to Stanley. Stanley wide. Finds Day. Gee, they love to find a bit of space, Gold Coast. Interception good by Flosstone. Yeah, they needed it because it was a big fast break situation. Jack Mark was streaming forward. There was space inside 50. Richmond's structure at the moment is all over the shot. Here's Vickery. Gee, drop the put there. Get the gloves out and take it in the hands if you can. And he has had a good pre-season, has he not, Richo? Yeah, he has kicked uh, eight goals in two games in one quarter, but that's a cardinal sin as a key forward. You, you need to take it out in front of your body. Boy, they really needed that steadier there. Here's Hampson again, doing a good job. You get the feeling he'll love being the number one ruckman as Cotchin kept it alive. Dangerous for Gold Coast. Das, how can players flourish when they are given the number one responsibility, which he never had? Yeah, absolutely. He just needs time. He needs the opportunity to play. And, you know, not great for Richmond and Marich being out, but he will just get minutes now, Hampson. And you get to find out. He gets some more experience. And he's capable. There he is with... A clever hit out. But I think the raw talent is there. Game time's going to help him. Lynch got to beat a couple. Did well to bring it to ground. Stanley is like a bull. Swallow. Beautiful hands. Now Lynch has got an opportunity to straighten up. Immediately he looks back and sideways. Finds Martin. Couldn't hold it. Deledio needs clean hands on the pickup. He's got that. Centering ball. Danger for Gold Coast. They've outnumbered them, though. And a free against Vickery for a push. A young Jack Martin's in a bad way down there. Lingy, it looked He's like right. a collarbone. He's got up okay. Yeah, a few uh, hearts in the mouths there. He did stay down looking hurt. He's jogging off now. Looks sore, but hopefully he's OK. Gee, we, we want to see him. We're all excited to see him. We Hopefully he's not hurt at all. But I'll keep a close eye on it, guys. The pink vest swamped him. Aren't they horrible? Looking things. Not, not happy with the pink vest? No, boy. I just... It's a bit We've overpowering. Clash. It's like we've clashes in footy for years. No one's going to clash. clash with the pink. It's like there's another team out there. <laughs> I remember last year... Uh, there's you, 16 out there, you, Richo. You were calling for a clash strip. That's about as... Unclashy as you can get, that one. Oh, come on. You can't fall in love with those. So off half back here. Stanley the target. Griffiths, great mark. What have they got in the middle? Players need to spread a little. They're a little bit too close. Griffiths kicks to the contest. It's really a one on two. Not a lot of support there, the Tigers. Gold Coast outnumbering. Yeah, Richmond just, at the moment. And the Gold Coast have just been cleaner in, in the situations where you need three or four quick handballs in a row. 
Goal right posts have been clean with their hands, so you get someone out in space eventually. Here's the uh, Jack Martin. Just landed on his shoulder there, going for that low chest mark. They do hurt, those ones. He'll be OK. Ablett. Griffiths in there again. Tigers working really hard here to retain some ball in their forward half of the ground. Deledio gets it deep inside 50, but McKenzie stands tall. Oh, really good hands in defence from McKenzie. It is a bit greasy out there with the heat and the humidity and good confidence from a young defender to do that. Now the Gold Coast is just a bit of hold to possession for a while. This is good to ask because they feel they've lost that momentum that they had and they're trying to resurrect it. It's a bit of maturity in it. They've had it in the hands of Ablett and now smart play. They've been able to create a bit of space. Apparently it's something they've worked fairly hard on over the summer is control in different scenarios in the game. Comes undone eventually. Greg Rance and Hooley all combining. They would have liked Hooley on the end of the kick. They're still trying to make that happen. This man will do, though. Greg, he's pretty effective as well. Sends it to the top of the square. Vickery, the target, got to go. Had it in the hands. McKenzie did well. And Ablett on the boundary. We'll throw it back into play. So a 20-point Gold Coast lead at the 15-minute mark. Big upset in Sydney today with GWS getting up. This one would not be a huge upset, maybe a minor upset. They've won eight of their last 13 games here. Gold Coast, so they have an ever-improving record on this ground. Including big wins against Collingwood last year. I think they beat North Melbourne up here yep. at the top of my head. It, it's not going to be an easy game for anyone here on the Gold Coast in 2014. Martin was looking for the low ball in the victory. Got there on the hop in the end, and look at the Gold Coast jumpers surrounding. Here's Lemons, who they really fancy as a hard-nosed small defender. Oh. That inside 50 from Dustin Martin, you're probably better off if you to go 55, 60 metres to the longest option. Nice if you try. miss a target 45 metres out, spirit like that, it's a real turnover area. Guys, it looks like the substitute's going to be made for Gold oh. Coast, which isn't good news at all for Jack Martin. We're trying to find out exactly what the problem is, but Timmy Sumner's the man who's going to come on. He's taken off the green bib. So, unfortunately, we're all the anticipation about Jack Martin. We're all excited about it. We didn't get to see a hell of a lot of him, but fingers crossed, he's OK. Yeah, well, that is not good news for the young man who fell in his attempt to tackle. Hampson over the back. Deledio, Hooley, fast hands. Morris out the back door. Opportunity here for Broughton. Gives it to Cochin around the corner. Vickery again the target. Couldn't get hands on the foot. He did really well, mate. And now the Tigers need some more numbers around the footy. Newman trying to win that battle. Comes out in the end to Shaw. He goes down the line, sees Prestia. Prestia's got the running Ablett there as well. Ablett goes out wide looking for Hall, needs to keep it alive. Ablett demands the footy and then threads the needle to Dixon. Got Prestia running, ignored him, might go down the line. He does now, but he'd be on a very acute angle. They're spreading a lot better than Richmond at the moment, the Gold Coast Suns. That was a good example of it then. Just had players who were willing to push hard into space forward. One of the fittest men on the Gold Coast list, along with O'Meara and Swallow. The three fittest players. Prestia, top of the square. Really didn't get near it. Hooley's got to work hard now. There's the sub, Sumner. Gary Ablett takes a little spell on the interchange bench. You... Just the 10 touches, does yeah. for uh, Gary. <laughs> Reasonable start, 18 minutes into the first quarter. Such a high standard that he said. So I think that'll be something that Damien Harbour will be pretty irritated about at quarter time, is your point before, Richo. They've just worked a bit harder, Gold Coast. Their young midfielders have done this better, run harder and broken into space. Conker, ran out of legs, came back looking for support. Greg, beautiful pick up Deledio, back to Conker, who had it initially. Now Deledio goes with the left boot, looking for Vickery again. Got pushed into the footy, did well to hold his place. Sold some candy nicely. Now a bounce from the big man. Didn't do that all that well. They get inside 50. Dele wasn't Deledio? Pedard it was. And we'll throw it in. So at least the Tigers have stopped the runner goals, Richo. Yeah, they have now. The momentum 
is a bit more neutral in this game, but now you need to get some scoreboard pressure back on the other way. There he is, Jack Martin, inside the rooms. and Could be an AC joint maybe up on the, the point there of the shoulder. Yeah. Certainly looks more that than any collarbone damage, yeah. doesn't it? So the battle is on here. Richmond appear to have stopped the bleeding, but now need to do some scoring. Greg to Hawley. Difficult angle. Didn't even think about it, Hawley. Went inside. Punch away from May. What I liked about that setup for Gold Coast as we see Jack Martin getting some ice maybe on his AC joint. He's been subbed out of the game, so let's hope it's not a long-termer. Blue McKenna looks pretty relaxed about the situation as they are getting numbers back into defence quickly and early like good sides do, Gold Coast, which is another step up for them this year. Edwards involved there. And got a high tackle. Headed and he'll win a free and well within range here. Yeah, he flush on his number, okay. We've spoken to the Suns staff and the yes, best thanks. we could get out of them was a shoulder for Jack Martin uh, and that's quite obvious by that icing of course. It doesn't look as though it's collarbone as you mentioned so the worry is that it's a bit of damage to that shoulder and the AC joint. 50 metre penalty here. You can see in your bottom right there Pedard's going all the way to the goal square. What was that? I didn't make out what that was for. I've got a suspicion. Might have been a bit of verbal. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's disappointing, isn't Pedard it? Pedard kicks the goal, Richo. They get their second of the night. Yeah, Bluey McKenna, he'd be disappointed with that. A terrific start. No guarantees from Ricky Pedard from 45 metres out. And just to give an easy goal up. When you're having such a, a good match, uh, it's not what uh, Bluey would like there. Ricky Pedard puts it through from... The square, the Tigers desperately needed that. Well, we thought it might have a little bit of verbal abuse, but you can just see a Gold Coast son, O'Meara, I think. Well, he was about to run through the mark and didn't. He just lost his bearings, and that is a 50-metre penalty. Bit of a brain fade there. Can't switch off for a second, can you, in AFL no. footy? On the Rolls Royce, Nichols won it down in the middle. Thomas to Martin. Nice ball to Newman, who presented up very nicely. New role this is for Chris Newman. He's played forward for most of the preseason. He's high to the top of the square. Vickery doesn't come too early. He wants to run at the footy, and he infringed. Hands in the back, says Ray Chamberlain. There's Jack Martin again, who's looking a little sorry and sore for himself, subbed out, and uh, what a disappointing start for. A young man, we're so excited to see more of, uh, of him. Hey, Ty Lucas has got to get a bit better than that. He can't give away soft free kicks in that part of the ground. It, it just kills you. Yeah, at the very least there as a forward, it, it must come to ground. Give your ground level players a chance to get involved. You can't give away free kicks there. Dixon and Lynch, the two big targets up forward here with the footy around the corner. Picked up there by Sumner, handball to Hall. Hall, very, very disciplined. Got it to the top of the square, Stanley. Already kicked one goal. Now an opportunity for Day. And he misses. Let's get down to Cameron Ling. BT, we've spoken to the club again, and they have confirmed it's an AC joint for Jack Martin. So not a collarbone. Fingers crossed it's a minor AC joint, but definitely AC. So somewhere two to four. He didn't look in agony, did he, when he came off the ground? He was no. in a bit of discomfort, so hopefully it's only a minor AC. And Cochin's kick, not what it should have been to Thomas. So Ablett, this is his 10th disposal already. High ball, all the tools are there. And they fly, and in the end, only one did. This is the man of the moment, Day. This is a huge positive. Going into the game, I, looking That's at the great. tools for the Gold Coast Suns, I thought, gee, they're, they're big, they're strong, they've got ability, but it's time a couple of them stood up and became consistent key forwards. Well, they've all got involved early so far tonight. Just signed a new two-year deal. Yeah, Day, Dixon and Lynch all had involvement in this uh, early period. Day for his second goal, and that's off the side of the boot. Not a lot of momentum going towards the mouth of goal there. Top three draft pick, Sam Day, an unbelievable athlete, incredible natural vertical leap. He's pretty raw still. It's going to take a, a bit of time. But 103 kilos, does 196. He's a big, big unit. And if he gets in front like that consistently, you're not going to be able to outmark yeah. him. McDonough. 
from full back. High ball. Once again, Hampson the target. Nichols was able to ease him under the foot. He did well, Hampson, to get it out. They got some running support here wide. Thomas, clever to tap it on. In fact, he took it himself. Got it a second go. Now, Hooley just goes back. Gives a bit of time for Ellis to find some space. And he does with Dustin Martin. A more positive movement of the footy through the midfield there. Got a good look at the Gold Coast defensive setup. They're getting back in the right spot, so they force Richmond wide. That's a nothing kick at all. And I think the work that Blue McKenna has put in, they are a lot more organised. They seem to have better structure and, and understand where to be better at the right time on the field. But they're just working hard, getting numbers back. Das, as you mentioned earlier, and it's a free kick there. A lot of whistle blowing going on in this game at the moment. Very stop start. Sumner. Down the line looking for Riscatelli. That's one of the real challenges with a lot of these guys that play for the Gold Coast have been junior superstars. This is oh, gee, Morris hurt his shoulder there too, yeah, does. Yeah, let's hope he's okay. They desperately need Stevie Morris. He looks a little bit upset about that as well, but straight down the rooms. Yeah, he's had ordinary shoulders, actually. Has he? Yeah. So that means it's an injury of significance. Martin surely should have handball it or kick it. How can that not be? Getting rid of the ball illegally. In the meantime, Jack Rewalt, little left foot kick around the corner. Opportunity now, pet it again. Look at this for the Tigers. They find the loose man and they do it very, very nicely in Griffiths. He sneaks a little bit of the angle. Did you see that? Going to the left while the umpire wasn't watching. You've got to do that. You always try and walk back into the middle a little bit, BT. You were an expert at it. You do risk playing the umpire calling you play on, though. Griffiths got away with it very nicely. Here he is now. Needs to kick the goal. And he has missed to the right-hand side. You're our kicking expert here, Bristol. Ben Griffith is one of the best long kicks in the game. We have a look at Steve Morris's shoulder. It just grabs straight away. And let's hope it hasn't yeah. displaced there slightly. But it was more than the air, wasn't it? Are you a fan of, of to me, if you kick it long naturally, should he try to stab that 35 yeah. metres? Does he just kick through it? from that range or I am a fan of a different kick for each scenario Darcy okay. and that is if you're 30 meters out in golf parlance you just need to hit the eight iron you don't need to hit the driver off the tee and risk a mistake that that's what I feel but some do it differently some adopt that attitude here's Harborough busted the tackle couple of bounces Edwards has got to try and run him down kick was low and hard an opportunity in there for Lynch. Picked it up magnificently. Ranch with a crunching tackle. That was impressive. Matera around the corner. Kicks the goal. Yeah, clever play there, Brandon Matera. He, he's a really dangerous little player, this man. He missed after round 10 last year with an ankle injury. And from the famous Matera family over in the West. And... That's his role. Get front and centre. Pick up any of those loose crumbs. He did it beautifully. Yeah, this is really good. You see the tackle here by Alex Rance, and it just bobs out. Matera, like any good small forward, have to be there for that. As a small forward, you need to be front and centre. You need to square. You need to be getting onto the loose ball and. He did it beautifully. A couple of the Richmond fans in the cheers got doing their best finger work there. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> just uh, not unusual, BT. Sportsman like there from the Tiger fans. Kick out wide. So we go again and in this quarter already. Five Gold Coast goals to two Tiger goals. Kick forward, Dixon. Punched away nicely. Squeezing handball there from Day. Almost got through. Asprey did well in the initial spoil. Ablett and Dodeo, the boys have talked about that matchup tonight. Yeah, G. Ablett's had 13 disposals. Delidio's had nine, but you see Delidio is trying to track Ablett around these stoppages. Greek, he did get rid of it really no. quickly. Cotchen with a, a nursing footy out wide. It, it was sort of deliberate in a sense, and Ray's going to pay it. It's a tough one because he had pressure all around. But you thought that that was probably on his mind. Yeah, well, he was looking just to get, get, get it out in space, out near the boundary, so probably a pretty fair call. Stanley, a high ball again. Lynch 
Was he interfered with? No. Kotcha looking for the give and go. Got it off Grigg. Didn't get to him on the full though, which cost him a yard or two. Sumner wrapped him up and the tackle did well. Swallow, beautiful pick up. Looking for Lynch again. Ablett was in the ruck. Dixon able to do the ground level work. Risk a tally. Lynch. Stanley has a go. Newman wraps him up in the tackle. Thomas with a blistering tackle on Riscatelli. Look, you, you, you called that give and go from Cochin there before BT. There's the deliberate out of bounds. I don't think you can really argue with that. Richmond are just handballing far too much. 68 handballs in a quarter, and half of the handballs aren't hitting the target, and it's a dangerous way to play. Once again, Hampson with some nice ruck work. A little risky in that part of the ground. Nevertheless, it came off. Griffiths. In amongst it was Broughton. Couldn't make it work for the Gold Coast, but numbers back again. Ball back inside to Broughton here. He looked up, didn't realise he had so much time. Prestia, little inching kick, couldn't hold it. Here go the Tigers, Alice to Grigg. Overlap running from their gun, Martin. And look at that for a little chisel at a jack. And Rewalt will get a look from 40. Well, that's uh, the definition of no hope there. The uh, defender, when a ball comes through the middle like that and you're one out inside 50 as Warnock was for Jack Rewalt, you have, absolutely have no hope whatsoever. It would have been a shocking feeling for Warnock. Important kick on the siren for Jack Rewalt. Hasn't had many looks at it in this quarter. With it's my eyes, he looks slim and trim, Jack, yeah, doesn't he? Lost uh, three or four kilos, I think, uh, BT. Very vibrant and electric looking Jack Rewalt. Goal after the siren, a big help for the Tigers to get it under. 20 points. Rewalt from directly in front. Magnificent kick. Liked it. High fives everywhere. And why not? The Tigers at quarter time trail by 15 points. 3 1 19. Gold Coast. 5 4 34. As we see the man Lee just said, uh, an AC joint, Jack Martin on debut. Some disappointment, but uh, for me, the real excitement around Gold Coast was the, the, the big boys, the young youngsters, just looking like they have, uh, have gained 20% over yeah. the summer. And that was the area before the game. You thought, can they stand up at either end of the ground? You know their midfield's going to be more than competitive. Deft, brilliant hands by Pressy to start this off in the middle and to finish it off, Stanley. Rams at home for his second. And there's the illustration of it there. Their midfield just linking up. And that, that was far too easy for the Gold Coast Suns straight after quarter time. We'll have a look at a replay, I would assume, at the linking of the handball there. But that was sloppy. Richmond just trailing opponents in there. And you can see they all got involved in that passage of play. Danny Stanley, an interesting selection. I, I must have my eyebrows were raised a bit with Danny Stanley. But he, he is proving... Any doubter, including me, wrong. He was their leading possession gatherer over the preseason. He's a hard body. He crashes in hard. And he actually finishes better than uh, I thought he was ever capable of. So he just balances that midfield group out a bit. Gives him a bit of power around the midfield that the young boys haven't quite got yet. Two long-range goals from outside 50. That's a good weapon to have. Good start for Danny Stanley. Hampson in the ruck gave the Tigers first use. And that's what they need here. Koch and wide to Newman. Griffiths in there in support. Newman did well. Remember, he's a left footer. Gets back onto that now. Lines him up. Tries to skid the ball in and misses to the left. Ridiculously high possession numbers in this game. 120 for Richmond, 114 for the Gold Coast. It's just a really fast game. No team is slowing it down at all, really. High tempo game. May, the big left boot of May. Gee, gained some ground with that kick. All of... 60 metres, handball back to Martin and Delidio share the footy almost on the wing. And in the end, he kicked it out of bounds on the full. If it continues like that with high possession numbers and a high tempo, it's going to be a pretty high scoring game. And I think the Gold Coast Suns would have the real advantage if the game continues in this style. Delidio tried to tell the umpire that he was already out of bounds when he kicked it. Therefore, it should not have been out on the full. Riscatelli, they say that he is more energised than ever Darst this year. He's had a bad run over the last couple of years with interfered seasons and this year ready to go, they say. He played 25 games in the past two years, coming off winning the best and fairest back in 2010 for Brisbane. So 
You know, I think he's one that needs to really put in a big year, Michael Richardelli. He hasn't performed the way I would have thought. That was a beautiful kick from Lemons there. They really like this youngster. Number 40 for the Gold Coast out of the Port Magpies. It's a good, good spoil there by Trent Koch. And you got the two guns matched up on each other there. Koch and 16 disposals and Ablett 13. Nichols and Hampson again. No real effectiveness. Lemons came in with a hard-hitting leap at the footy. Ablett again, oh. possession 14. What about the hands and the awareness then from Ablett? Got it. Six people around him and he went bang! And just shot the handball out. Anyone else would have been tackled. Good mark there by May. Once again, Ty Vickery, I'm a fan of his. I really think he can play. He started the game really poorly. Caught out again behind. He's just got to make sure. He can't always mark it. He's got to give a contest, though. Asprey, careful not to offend there. Got away with it and did it very nicely. Here's Harbrow on his favoured left side. Unselfishly got it back in. It missed all comers. Morris is back out there. Crunching tackle after that sore shoulder. Greg Soccer couldn't quite grasp but Hampson went back. Followed up. Got to go the Tigers. Thomas got it loose. Now, what can they do? This next kick is really important. Back to Thomas. Has a look. Chipping ball. Got to go. And he does, Ellis. Great stuff. Good grab. 60 metres. Tigers have got one-on-ones everywhere. Rewalt, not sure he can get the journey. Just outside his range, I think. And this is, again, Vickery, you can see, the, presenting the lead. And he went the shorter option. The turnover is on. Broughton to McKenzie. And the Tigers not getting it deep enough there. Sumner, the activated sub for Jack Martin. Have a look at this, some speed. The one-handed bounce. And an unusual, unorthodox drop of the footy. Dixon almost. Gee, worked really hard there, Charlie Dixon. He got rid of Dave Asprey. The kick was just out of range for him. But he looks to improve his work rate. I've been watching him closely the first 35 minutes of this game. And he's, he's working really hard. Probably an area he had to improve on. Hampson again. Gives them first tap, but they didn't get first yeah. use. Edwards. Wide, and that'll be out of bounds. And, of course, Blue McKenna there is about to sign a new deal to extend his days here to 2015. The end of. Hasn't quite put pen to paper yet, but will soon. So what, that's just a one-year extension. extension. Yep. Yeah, it'll be well-deserved, I think, for Guy McKenna. I think he's got the side on track. A few years into his, uh, his coaching reign. Maybe a glance into the future tonight. GWS with a massive upset over Sydney. And the Gold Coast with a 20-point lead here early stages of the second quarter. Floss Tone doing really well there. Goes short and finds Edwards. Edwards likewise. And control of the footy here with Deledio. Deledio says, come at me, I'll hit you. And Alice does just that. Going to be a fine long-term player is Brandon Alice. Going to be a 200-game player for the Tigers for sure. He's all class, a real pro. Kicks it down the line. Griffiths again, outdone on this occasion here by Cameron. In his first game, Cameron around the corner, ball into Lynch, punched away. It's an obvious thing to say, and I might ask Lingy about this, but they look flat, Richmond. Damien Hardwick would be concerned. On that slow play, there wasn't a heap of run, heap of movements and blocks and noise. They just look like they're going through the motions. A bit shell shot, Lingy, is that? An unfair thing to say about the Tigers at the moment? No, I agree with you, Darcy. They need to be taking the game on more. When they get a break like this, it's good to see Brandon Ellis run and take a bounce. Take the game on a little bit. And from here, I reckon get it in as quick as you can. You've got two big key forwards. Let's see if they can do that. Little kick around the corner from Pettit. I reckon that's the one that kills the forwards, though, because now Gold Coast Suns have just got numbers back, and Rewalt and Vickery are going to be competing against three or four players. Makes it so much harder. Thomas to Newman, dropped the mark. Newman had to tidy things up, swings around a long left foot boot, but once again, well, May. And once again, it, it, it's Ty Vickery. I'm, I'm on his case because it, it is just destroying their forward setup, Richie. Yeah. If he can't get the, to the footy playing from behind, he has to come off. He's got to give a contest. Yeah, he has, has fallen behind tonight. I'll give him a bit of grace that time. It was the kick went nowhere near 
the advantage side where he thought it was going to go, but must get in front as a forward. You have they, to bring it to ground at the least. And they've got to make it easier for him too. They can't be kicking it there and they can't be slow with their ball movement. You you know what it's like, Richo. Fast ball movement, you've got all the space in the world. Look at that. Lynch took him on on the mark and walked around them in the end. Here's the strong man, Stanley. Already kicked two goals from beyond the arc, said Richo. This one's a high footy. Sumner under the footy by a fair way in the end. Thomas has got to go. Nichols got there first to Ablett. Can he gather cleanly? Little slip. Still the awareness to keep it alive. But eventually the Tigers are able to get there and swat it. Conker didn't think Sumner had it, and the umpire agreed. Sumner's free. Timmy Sumner. Good kick inside, and Swallow takes the mark. Do you see the difference there? Timmy Sumner didn't even hesitate. As soon as he got the ball thrown back to him for that free kick, he just went bang. He saw someone free, gave it to Swallow, Ends up with a shot at goal. Just one goal kicked in this quarter. By both sides, that being the goal coast. Swallows is across the face and really never gave it a chance. Lengi, can you see any hard tags in the midfield? I don't think there really has been so far in this match. They've pretty much been head to head, -head haven't they? No, exactly right, Richo. I think uh, Richmond tried with Thomas, but uh, Gary Ablett was just far too good in that first quarter. I think they're trying to get Cochin and those types of players to just play on him with the balance, be able to get the, draw the ball on him, but also at the same time play with the defensive balance. No hard tags at the moment. Yeah, good quick play from Rance to see Grigg running on his favoured boot now. Newman has done this a couple of times in the game already. Presented up, got it, and then found not much. Now, this is where Dars wanted victory to come. Rewalt got it in the end and did well. It yeah. a nice kick from Chris Newman there. He just drew Jack Rewalt into the football and always been a great kick, Chris Newman, and nothing a defender can do when a kick comes in like that. Looks like victory may be going for a little time in the ruck, Dars, and Hampson's gone deep. I think that would be a good thing for him, just to get him into the game. He's had a great pre-season victory, kick goals. He just hasn't started in really good shape here in this game tonight. Rewalt kicked a nice goal on the siren at quarter time, or just after the siren. Here he is, fair way out. He'll have to kick it 47. He's very capable. Little left to right, fader, and misses. Down there before the game for the pre-game show, there is a little bit of breeze out there, and the shots at that end of the ground have all been missing to that right-hand side. So I think you've got to aim at the left-hand post at that end of the ground. That's the open end of the stadium, as you can see down the other end is very protected with the big grandstand. McKenzie going really wide there and trying to find Cameron. Punched away from him, so the Tigers have a win and lock it near their forward end. Waiting for the ball to come back. The Richmond fans up in the terraces there enjoying a touch of it. Good to see young Clay Cameron out there for his... First match, but he had a few operations on his hips, I believe. Yeah, he had a femoral articular impingement. Jeez, where'd you pluck that from? And he had both hips uh, released, I guess is the term you'd use, Richo. Yeah, there's a free kick in the ruck. So, yeah, Vickery might get into the game, Dust in the ruck, as you said. Round 14 last year. Here he is going into Hampson. I'm not sure the Hampson thought he marked it, so he played on Hooley. Cotchen now, left boot around the corner, has missed. And in the end, it stays alive. Rewalt could have almost got himself a free there. Griffiths, the quick shot with a bit of a ricochet involved. People would have thought at home that we set that up then when I asked no. you about Clay Cameron, but you just plucked that from nowhere. I have been talking to some officials and they actually gave me the medical term, femoral articular impingement. And that was, he didn't play after round 14 last year, Richo. Well, it sounds sore, whatever that is. <laughs> Matera, son of Wally. Yep, former Fitzroy yes. player, brother of Peter, well he was, and, and fine put, player in his own right. Yep, I actually coached him in the VFL with Paran at one stage. Wally, great man. What were you like as a coach, Bristol? Oh, you mean very pretty relaxed, very concise, relaxed, very, relaxed, <laughs> very tolerant, thoughtful. Yeah. Didn't, didn't fly off the handle ever. In the education mode. Did you get sent off in a game as a coach? <laughs> oh, well, I got escorted off by the police. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't my best moment. <laughs> How do you get escorted? Well, the send-off rule, and I refuse to leave, Richard. <laughs> so I've got an escort. There's McDonough in there, 
dumped Harbrow working hard. O'Meara just lost a handle on the footy. Edwards got to work hard. Look at this. Tight passage of the game. McDonough's thrown to the ground and a high tackle, so it'll be McDonough free. Oh, I love a bit of Charlie Dixon, Richo. Yeah. He, he's got that look He's got a bit of aggression about him. A bit of enforcer. He wants yeah. to hurt the opposition. Martin trying to draw up the middle. Saw Asprey running. Probably realised that he's not the best kick of the team, so he hung on to himself. Free kick going the way of Morris, right on the wing. He immediately looks deep, sees Hampson lose. Hampson's just got to stand and mark. Now, has he got the journey in the legs here, Hampson? I doubt it. From just outside 50, top of the square. Here comes Vickery. Better run up the ball, but the swat away from Nichols was great. Gee, that was a great spoil. He, he came from behind, but then had the poise, I guess, to spoil it back through for a point instead of hitting it into the corridor where Richmond would have had another opportunity to score. Great spoil. Well, there are a lot of Richmond supporters up here at the moment. As Richo said, over 5,000 of them have travelled to Queensland to have a look at this game and enjoy the, uh, the hospitality. Why wouldn't you travel up here to Metricom? It's just a great stadium, and it, I reckon this is the best crowd I've seen up here so far. Horton Highball, Stanley. Shot it out. Very hard for Lynch to handle here. I think this will end up in a ball up. Umpire gives them a chance to right. it up, get it out. It up. Here we go. Thank you. And eventually we will have a ball up here and get it all started again. Big five minutes here for Richmond. The, the game has slowed down a little bit. The scoring slowed down. They need and must kick the next goal, the Tigers. Uh, Mira, a little clumsy on Thomas there with the tackle. Another goal now by the Gold Coast. And it just starts to stretch out a little bit too much. Matty Thomas, of course, last year. Played four games with Port Power. Also won the McGarry medal in the SANFL. Then was delisted at the end and somehow ends up here at the Tigers. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah it was rookie drafted uh, BT yep. and just worked hard and was elevated. Rewalt turns his man inside out in Cameron. Gave it off to Alice. Alice, a beautiful touch kick. Got it inside. Cotchen was underneath all of that. Couldn't beat a couple. Now McKenzie was clean with the hands. May went without it. Cotchen got a second go. And a bit of a coat hanger tackle. Here with me. Here with me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Trent Cotchen has gone forward now. It was a great effort initially to get back two on one onto Trent Cotchen. But the handball, you, you, that is just so crucial. When you handball at your teammates' feet, it makes it so hard to bend down and pick it up around your ankles. And... Almost always, it results in a turnover, and this time Trent Cotchen gets a shot at goal. Important goal. It's been a bit of a nil-all draw in the last 10 or 15 minutes. This to get it back to an even two-goal margin. There's the task ahead, and Cotchen just trying to nurse it through. The Tigers are back to within 12 points. I love Trent Cotchen as a player, and I love him playing that role forward. He's such a good one-on-one -on -one competitor who will find a way to score goals if they can get him the footy. He's good enough to do that regularly. A good converter and that's a really important goal in this game. It felt like a goal the other way was going to be a long way back and that's what you have to love about him. He steps up, he finds the big moments. Well there he is, Trent Koch and he's gone deep and as you said Darcy early in the game, we're going to see that a lot more this year, your star on ballers like Gary Ablett and Trent Cotchen will be going forward, I think, and spending a lot more time there. Well, it's 15-18 at the moment in terms of possession. Cotchen leads. Out of the middle. Riscatelli. Harbrow looking for the overlap running. Prestia fell to the ground. Poised enough to get up and then shoot the handball off to Riscatelli. O'Meara looking to draw the footy. He does. Gets it on to Hall. Hall inside 50. Couldn't quite make it work. Eventually the Tigers with some numbers here. Delidio in the fluoro boots to the boundary. Gee, they're getting some really good clean takeaways from the middle. The Gold Coast Suns, so much talent in there. Edwards, thought about Hooley. O'Meara up to Harbrow on his favoured left side. Went over the top and just misses to the right. 
Where do you see the game at now, Lingy? The momentum, it's slowed down a little bit, the possession rate. Yeah, it'd be right, pleasing right. Uh, from a Richmond yeah. perspective that they've just, just brought it back to a bit of an arm wrestle. Gold Coast Suns were just running them off their legs in that first quarter and early on this second, but oh, apart from mistakes like that, playing back into their hands. A little bit firm with the handball there. They got, they got away with one there, definitely, but they brought the game back, just slowed it down a little bit. They've uh, they brought it back to a bit of an arm wrestle where the Richmond experienced players can start getting their hands on the footy. And, of course, Grigg and Cochin and Delidio are starting to do that. A lot of possessions through that middle. It really shows a sign of maturity of Richmond. They're able to wrestle back control in a game that was getting a little bit out of hand. So good signs for them. They've tried to slow the game right down here, but going to need to go long down the line now. They covered that off well, the Gold Coast Suns. Now, as has Das alluded to earlier, position themselves defensively in really good spots, forcing the Tigers time and time again to go to contest down the line. Greg to Delidio, put on the afterburners here, took a couple of bounces, and there's Vickery. Well, that's just great contested play from the Tigers. They forced a turnover from Gary Ablett, which almost never happens. They played the percentages down the line, and I think the run on the ruck for Ty Vickery was good. He got his hands on the footy a couple of times. Unselfish from Delidio. Could have easily had a bomb from there, but that was a great option and good, solid play all round. This is uh, left goal post, do you reckon, BT yep. here? A a spot on, Richard. Don't give it away to the left of the, le of the left goal post, yeah. but at the left goal post, I reckon. Let's see if he's learnt from everyone else and he does it magnificently. Richo, you're a star. Look at that. Vickery got the one the Tigers needed. Just a little masterclass there from uh, about, about 1,400 goals between the two men who called that left to right. And Ty Vickery, a uh, few more. I knew what I had to do. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, no. exactly. I knew what I was trying to do. It just didn't happen. It just didn't happen very often. Well, he needed that, Ty Vickery, and I'm happy for him because it was a pretty tough start to the game. That might help him out. Six thirty-four to go in this first half of footy, and the Gold Coast lead has been trimmed to eight points. The other factor that we've got to acknowledge later in the game is Jack Martin went off so early, so there may be a factor there with the uh, early sub of Martin. Ellis with a kick, rushed one inside fifty, flying for it, not coming down with it was Griffiths. Went and got it in the end. I think it might have been brought in amongst that swallower strip. Edwards turns around and sends it. Goal bound post. There's been a great response from the Tigers. Uh, really lifted their rating. As Lee mentioned before, they've uh, shown a bit more composure as well when they needed to. Held onto the footy, slowed the momentum down. And it's nice to see Griffith getting involved now. Ty Vickery, who I've been critical of a bit at the start, he's lifted his rating. Jack Revolt's getting involved. So it's a, almost a direct turnaround from the start of the first quarter. And sure. Dust, the, the difference is they've been patient down back, they've slowed it down down back, but once they break that line through the middle, they're going really quick and direct, which is dangerous. She's starting to win the battle here a little bit at the moment. Petted goes in there to Vickery again. Shaw grabbed the foot, he was immediately tackled. Alice did well, had a second go at it. Did he take the legs of Prestia? The umpire said it was okay. And eventually, a bit of an escort out of defense here for the Tigers. And the free given away by Dixon. I think might be oh. going the other way. It might be straight. She. Oh, look, Charlie ragdolled Asprey. That's unbelievable. Asprey can't believe it. But that, it, was, it was the umpire furthest away that gave it. Yeah, I reckon in those six of one, half a dozen of the other, you just call play on because I reckon there was a bit of holding from both men there. Well, Gold Coast going forward again. Sumner in there, the target, along with Lynch, Morris. Clever disguise, won himself for free. The other thing that uh, Richmond have done is uh, get Gary Ablett under control. 13 possessions first quarter, only two so far in the second quarter. So there is that free that was paid. The opposite direction to what we thought. Morris just slowing things down here. The Tigers have been methodical about the way they've worked their way back into this game. Done it slowly. Without fast, just been good, hard, grinding work from the Tigers. Edwards to Cochin. Cochin, little chipper. Good footy, so here go the Tigers again. Short little ball, finds Thomas. 
Still a long, long way from home. Gold Coast getting some numbers back now. Thomas goes wide and low, missed the intended target. Now Rewalt picks it up. Oh, he just tried to go straight through him, Jack. He was just like running through a brick wall. He thought he was Superman. That was one of the strangest <laughs> things I think I've ever seen. I'd like to see a replay of that. Almost like he was amazing trying a touchdown or something. Oh, else. and Conker's gone the kung fu sort of approach. It's and Dixon goes bang and says, get out of the way, Vickery. Look at Jack here. Down, He's just decided. He saw it was the youngster in camera and he said, I'm going to take you on. He's trying to draw a free kick, but it was a good call from the umpire. Young Cameron was up to the challenge. Frontal stuff there from Jack. Talked about Richmond's high handball numbers in the first quarter. Well, this quarter they've picked it up. 50 kicks, 31 handballs. That's the ratio that I reckon they're after. Prestia just gathered it with real poise and composure. Shaw's kick goes wide, looking for Hall. So what do we got? 3.39 remaining in the half. Gold Coast by seven points. Richmond have owned the last 10 minutes or so. Not owned, but have wrestled back the ascendancy, I would say. Swallow, quick hands. Harbrow on his non-preferred right boot. Got it pretty deep. Sumner lurking dangerously. So is Ablett. Four on one in favour of Gold Coast there, but did it really well, McDonough, to get it over the boundary line. Yeah, well, it's 23 minutes since Danny Stanley kicked his second goal for the Gold Coast Suns, and they haven't kicked one since then. So they've been able to get the momentum back. Important few minutes here, obviously, for Richmond not to concede a goal now after fighting hard to get back into this game. Newman, what a professional. Knew he should not have taken possession of that. And That's just experience, yep. BT, isn't it, there? Against the youngster and Lemons. It's a man who has played his whole career in defence, uh, Richo. He's got a chance up forward. He looks like someone who's saying, I love playing forward, and can I find a way to make sure that happens on a regular basis? I think it suits him. I think he's... But he's a good user of the footy, yep. does, isn't he? So, I think he's caught one low or been winded there. Newey. There's Nichols. Flies. Ablett over the back. Work back in. Sneaky little handball. Pressed here. Probably could have gone a little harder there. Thomas. He's just a bit winded here. Newey. Oh, yeah, right in there. Just a little follow oh. through on the tackle with a yep. whack to the guts. Red basket. Very well disguised, wasn't it? Ablett. High footy. Rand's caught behind. The punch away was effective. Tom, keep the meter. The Suns can win this clearance here. You can see they've got one-on-ones inside their Ford 50. No extra number to compete against. But it goes the other way, and guess what? Newman's out of the loop. He's got some running support in Hooley. He's a really good user. Vickery gets the Dukes out. Couldn't control it. Harbrow takes them on. Got it to Warnock. Back they go to Matera. Matera looks out the other side. And sees an opportunity for Broughton. He plays on immediately. Got the loose here in Hall. Now what does he do? The runner inside in Matera. Takes possession. Presti is there as well. Cut off in the end by the Tigers. It was well done by Flosstone initially. Prestia got butters up for another go. Matera had a little bit of butterfingers going on there as it went between the feet. And an opportunity missed. And a free going the way of the Tigers. Stop Chaplin. Win a few of the 50-50s, Richmond. And as Lee said, on the rebound, they're more dangerous. Grigg goes deep, but without real authority in the kick. Warnock tries to take Vickery on. Got running support from behind. Harbrow now wants to get onto the left. He does, but was tackled and turnover again. Delidio drops an easy one. Matera couldn't quite make it stick now. Flosstone. Well, two terrific chases from Griffiths and Vickery. The two 200-centimetre players. Hardwick would have loved that. I thought they were out and running then, the Suns. Gee, you never used to see that. Guys that size chasing people down from behind. Just so athletic now, the big men in this game. Basher Hooley just telling them to settle a little. I reckon the Tigers should have gone, given there was under a minute to go, but he's out there. Martin with really great strength. Tries to set up Deledio. Stanley, or is it Riscatelli, keeps him honest. Yeah, here's what I was just talking about. Vickery first with the rundown, and Griffiths there. 
Harper, you would have thought, would get away, but that was just desperation, forces an errant kick. Gold Coast by seven points. Last 40 seconds of the, of the uh, first half. Ablett. Down the line. Big upset earlier today with GWS beating Sydney. And Gold Coast in front of the highly fancied Tigers here. This is a massive clearance for both teams here. Nichols the Ruckman, two-handed tap down to Swallow. Was just a little close to accept it. Tackled off the ball, Greg Ablett, little soccer. Gained 15 metres, got it close to the 50. And McDonough says, I'll do the defensive thing. You can see Vickery at the bottom of your screen. He's pushing down to try and get back and get an extra number there for the high ball that may come in. So just 20 seconds left here. You would think only the Gold Coast can score from here. Tigers have got a lot of numbers around the footy, as you can see. Hooley, they really don't want the footy to come out of there. It does. Ablett tried to fend off a couple of tackles. Did he take them on and dispose of it illegally? The siren has assisted the Tigers there. And a nice half of footy. We know the Tigers are good and we know they're hard. And I tell you what, Gold Coast have proved a thing or two here as well that they are around in season 2014. Halftime scores 6 7 43 Gold Coast, the Tigers 5 6 36. A lead of seven points for them. And the Tigers would be pretty happy with themselves. Kick the last two goals of that second quarter and work their way after the Gold Coast Suns late into this game because it's been 30 degrees up here today and obvious humidity uh, in Queensland. So that'll be a big challenge for the Suns now. And they lead it by seven points. Second half about to get underway. Spectacular conditions here. Maybe just a tiny little bit slippery out there because of the conditions, but still very, very good and look at this already vickery presents right well, he's going to play on he has he stepped off the line and had to pull his kick somewhat did it well hand and in the back. griffiths has received a free here a hand, hand in the back said the umpire she didn't look to be much That's in that a he's a little back. bit bemused about that decision had a kick uh close to this range earlier in the game ben griffiths see if he uh, learned anything from it He's hoping someone will get free. The eyes are wandering. Tight kick uh, with the right foot out to the boundary there. Yep, still looking, still looking. And stagnant were the Richmond players there rather than creating space. And he's got that working left to right magnificently. Oh. Did well. Tigers back within a point. Well, that's the start that the Tigers needed. And it comes from a clean centre break. Hampson to Deledio to Cochin. Didn't muck around with it, just bashed it in. Vickery takes the mark, and you just need to do that. You need to get it inside 50, give your big tall forwards a chance to compete one on one. Not much else you can ask for. That's exactly the start the Tigers needed. He's a beautiful big kick, Ben yeah. Griffiths. Wait till he gets outside 50. You can kick him through post high. Big upside for me, BT, in Richmond and the Gold Coast is if Ben Griffiths turns into a, a good key forward slash Ruckman or defender. Ty Vickery turns into the player we think he can. And at the other end, Asprey turns into a good player. It's the bigs that can really improve for Richmond and the Gold Coast. So good start in the second half. Griffiths on the scoreboard. Thomas just absolutely urgent at getting that footy out. Did it well. Edwards a bit of a look away handball. Now Martin does go backwards. Searching for some space. Found it with Asprey. Asprey's kick needs to be tidy, and it is. Does the job to Cotchen. Back within a point, the Tigers, the biggest margin was 21 points in this game, and it's now back to a one-point ball game. I wouldn't mind uh, to see now in this second half a bit of development for the Gold Coast Suns. Maybe send a run with tight roll to Trent Cochin. He's up to 21 possessions now. He's having a real influence on this game. Just part of their development as they get better and better, they need to be able to shut down a quality opposition player. Ablett dragged down, swallow. Ungamely left boot that does the job nicely today. Plays on immediately, got a runner outside, and now there's a runner forward of the ball. I think it's uh, Lynch, if Prestia can get it in that direction. Didn't seem, went for Sumner instead. 
One hand on it, couldn't hold the mark. Trying to crash his way through was David Asprey again. Morris, quick little give. Chaplin, not sure it was legal. Thomas said, what do I do? And he threw it, unfortunately. It was a really good tackle. And he didn't handball it or kick it. It'll be a swallows free. They've seen a couple of examples in the first two go through, go through. or three games of this season of players leading into tackles and, and ducking their head a little bit. And that new rule, the umpires will not pay that as a high free kick anymore. And it's smart. It's just common sense umpiring. And it, it's a great change on the interpretation. Because players were doing it deliberately, yeah, weren't well, they? Players were players were knowing how to draw free kicks. And it's just a great little tinkering of the rules. Swallow. Part of the class act that Gold Coast are from right on 50. Got it working a little left and misses. Two point lead. Have you seen his progress, David Swallow? Lee? He's so highly rated, like a lot of his teammates. A, a little bit quieter last year. Yeah, touch quieter, but he is a quality player. One of the best runners at the Gold Coast Suns. As I mentioned just before the game, I'd love to see him spend more time in the middle part of the ground. He's been off half back. But I'd love to see him win contested ball through the middle, use that run, allow someone like Gary Ablett to spend more time forward. He's going to need to take a big step this year if the Suns are going to be playing finals. Yes, he did play on Edwards. He went off the mark, but he's still able to get rid of the ball. Hampson, Cochin. Cochin says go that away, and he does. Long footy, not greatly directed. Vickery's got to come. Pettit was there as well. Warnock's ball was smothered. Tigers keep it. Cochin to a dangerous place. Griffiths flew. Off hands. Rewalt. Goes back to Vickery. Vickery on the right boot, smothered off the boot. Now, can they counter-attack? Will they counter-attack? Ablett with great composure. Really good. How good was that, Richo? He was about to unleash a torp. Mid-kick, he spotted a target and was somehow able to turn it into a drop punt. He sort of just, the way he controlled the ball under his foot, most other players would have lost control of it there. It's like he had glue on his hand and it just held it there for the extra little split second to change his kick at the last minute. Chaplin won the free because of the infringement. Kicks to Thomas. Boundary line would be a good result here for the Tigers, and Thomas makes sure of that. There is Malcolm Blight, of course, in the coach's box. Bomber Riley down the bottom. There's Dean Solomon in the bottom right, and Matty Primus with the binoculars. They're all there. It's a good crew, isn't it? Yeah. A mix of experience there. Obviously, Blighty, the elder statesman, so... Been spending a lot of time at the Gold Coast, I believe, as Flying. Malcolm, and enjoying every moment of it. So that's great to see his experience crucial. Here is Edwards from 45. The sharp shooter misses right. I just want to go back to Ablett. Look, he's under pressure, a rare fumble, about to be a torp, yep. and then the vision in his eyes... Then the ability to turn that into a drop punt and find a target is a rare skill. I don't think anyone else has been able to change their mind that late. Scatelli, the kick to Ablett on the hop. He almost stops and props. Wants it back here, Ablett. Does get it from Hall. Sold the dummy on Deledio. Deledio was aware and he put good pressure on Ablett and turned it over. Good to boot for the Tigers for Matt Thomas. He, he's super hard at it. On. He's Play harder on. than Woodpecker's lips, uh, Matt Thomas, and oh. he's had eight contested possessions. Oh. Just, You've uh, been dying to use that one all <laughs> summer, haven't you, Richard? I was given a task to get it into the cold <laughs> star. Oh, just a little zinger from Pretty us. happy with myself, too, for getting that in. Just uh, really waiting for an opening to weave oh. that one in was Rich Oak. Here's Morris. Morris at halfback. Play on. Control play here from the Tigers. Fostone breaks. He wants it in that direction. Edwards didn't know it was coming in the end. It was pretty poor. The mark is taken by Broughton. Greg Broughton. Half back. Both sides just checking each other out at the moment. Rance. He's a goer. His Rance did it well. Nice handball to Koch and got around one in McKenzie. Really fast hands from Petter to Hooley. Hooley's hemmed in, but has great composure to Koch and again. A little chip kick is at the required journey. Doesn't matter because you've got to mark it anyway. Rewalt's handball snipped by Harbrow. Goes wide. Pressed here. Wider to Matera. Matera long handball over to Lynch. Lynch has got a runner on the inside as well. Sumner takes it. Turns on the afterburner. He says, I've got you, Martin. Martin almost a trip. And Sumner's kick just offline in the end, but they've got it in a good spot. 
I'm sitting between two Richmond legends. Put it on the line here, boys. Who will win? Well, well Richmond should win. Uh, the Gold Coast Suns are down a rotation. Two on the bench for a whole half of football in warm conditions. Uh, Richmond Going should the win. other way for me, Darce. I've just got a feeling with the Gold Coast at the moment. Okay. Haven't quite got going the way they'd like to. Lemons, neither of the Tigers for that matter. But Gold Coast for me at this early stage. Hall through some traffic. A lot of Tiger players around here. Morris, O'Meara, Riscatelli, snap and a miss. There was another example of a, you know, a high tackle being shrugged and just great that they're not paying those Tiggy touch with ones anymore. I think we all be happy with that. Have not kicked a goal for 36 minutes. The Suns, the last one coming at the one minute mark of the second quarter with Stanley. And the Tigers in that time have got three. I'll tell you who will win. The team that doesn't overuse the ball by hands in the second half because both teams have had one quarter of doing it and they lost the quarters. Just a little bit of panic there from Sumner with that handball. Lingy, what's the, the right ratio, do you reckon? You're a premiership player. You know how to do it. What, what's the right ratio of kick to handball, do you think? Well, not to get into too technical stuff here, but it's about 1.2 to 1. There you go. Kick to handball ratio. You don't want to quite go at 1 to 1. It's a bit of overuse. Anything under 1 to 1, as in more handballs yep. than kicks, is just far too much overuse. And with the pressure the players can put on these days, you're so much more open to coughing it up. No, don't get too technical or detailed there, Lingy. 1.2, Das. <laughs> <laughs> he is the most sought after man in footy. Oh. He's our man, Cameron Langwood. Lucky yeah. to have him on board again. Brandon Ellis, who was a running machine, kick not great. Right on it! Play on! May. Yeah, well, both sides are well under Lingy's magical mark there. They've had a lot more handballs than you would hope to have in a game. Gold Coast and Richmond. Why not to Shaw? Shaw wants to go back inside. That kick is not good enough because it puts Harbrow under pressure. It needed to be up a little, a little bit more loop in the footy. And now Gold Coast to a one on one out wide. Swallow couldn't hold the mark. Morris will like the boundary line. Swallow just went and got it again. And Stanley was pretty easily able to get out of that tackle. Long ball. Chaplin was there. Knocked down Delidio. Back pocket for the Tigers. Ball looking for Hooley, but O'Meara got it. How good are the players? One grab below their uh, knees these days. They just don't fumble very often. Here's Nichols running at the footy. Matera's got it. Pinned to him right, by McDonough. Stay there. Thank you. Coming out here. Quick Coming whistle out here. by yeah. Razor there, but it was good. Three, no one was ever going to get the ball out of there. No, it was, but he's he has got a quick right. whistle. You're right, Richo. Yep. Saw you having a chat to Razor on the plane. Today, yes. BT. Yes, uh, I was. Uh, here is Prestia from inside the centre square. Wobbles one in. Danger for the Tigers. Swallow. Looks like he's got some energy. Turns around. And that is just magnificent. Except it was a metre left. Looked like it was going through. Yeah. He's a class act. O'Meara. Swallow and Prestia. Once those three get going. Real arm wrestle at the moment. Swallow with the four behinds tonight, Richo. Prestia, spin out of trouble. Ablett goes back to Prestia. Prestia now from the bounty line, 40 metres out. That was a horrible kick. Sumner trying to keep it working his way. Conker's got to go. And I tell you what, an opportunity here for the Tigers to get on the rebound. Can they get it out with a good clean kick? Thomas, the one that's got to do the task. He refers to Delidio. Delidio must hit this kick. And Ranch tried to mark on the chest rather than the Jukes. For the record, the Premiers last year, Hawthorne 1.38 kicks to handball. And I think you said about 1.2, so it's almost spot on. And there you look at it, it's overuse of the, uh, of the hands tonight. It's creating turnovers. And it's happened quarter to quarter. Firstly, it was Richmond, and now the Gold Coast. Has got scrappy. Warnock back back with Rewalt. First to recover is Rewalt. Edwards, well kept in play for Rewalt. And likewise for him, just couldn't quite get the clean pick up. Now Alice, little left foot kick around the corner. Here goes Cochin into the pocket. Wanted a free. Did not get it. Buddy Warnock, he's just been a survivor in AFL footy and it's because he just gives his all as a defender. Doesn't get a lot of the ball, but gee, makes you work hard for a kick. Cameron doing well there. 
to deprive him of the footy. Prestia starting to get up there in the possession game as well. That's his 21st. So just a bit of a stagnant play here, Darson. I'm just noticing that Charlie Dixon is not out on the ground at the moment for Gold Coast. And we're hearing on Twitter, via Twitter, by the Super Footy thing, that he has an issue. Yeah, Richo was onto that uh, a little earlier at the start of the quarter. A concussion injury has been confirmed, uh, BT, so down to two rotations. And it's, uh, it's a good point to bring that up again because, in my mind, they are really missing. And Timmy yeah. Sumner's trying to play full forward. Now. I thought Dixon had a massive impact on this game at the start. And I reckon Richmond know it here going into a bit of this controlled play. It, this saps your energy now as a Gold Coast player, having to just continually chase around the Richmond players leading up. So maybe this is part of a bit of a plan just to take a bit of energy out of the Suns. Hotchin again, the intended target. He's been the target inside 50 on numerous occasions tonight. Alice got it to Hooley. Hooley to McDonough. McDonough on the left boot. That's a great kick under pressure to Rewald, who really should have marked that. Yeah, McDonough came to the club, the Tigers, as a forward, but playing his second game tonight, been a defender through the preseason, and it's got really good skills, as you could see there on that occasion. Over the back, Prestia fast hands, O'Meara. Ablett out the back, Riscatelli. He's got a bit of clear space, decides he can put the ball on the turf a couple of times and now he'll be forced to dispose of it. That's a good looking kick. Swallow ran really hard. Jeez, that was great gut run from David Swallow. He was 150 metres on the go there, put in the extra burst. Picked up by Sumner. Sumner with a nice kick finds Prestia. Well, I think the biggest factor for me will be who runs out the game better. We've seen a lot of players cramp already in round one. Fremantle Dockers and Collingwood players. Until you build that base of match fitness, it is harder work in the first few games. And, uh, you know, the two rotations may be a factor, but that was great evidence that there is good run in the legs. Prestia Swallow all streaming hard forward. Runner-up in the best and fairest last year, this man. And that is off the instep. And I've noticed tonight he's kicked a couple off off the instep. Yeah, David Swallow, he made something out of nothing because when they got that ball at half back the Suns, they had nothing forward and he he got run a good 120 metres to take that mark on 50 and it's just outstanding run. It was, it was brilliant. Last seven scores by Gold Coast have all been behinds. They've not been able to find the tall ones. Hall, up and under, Edwards. Careful not to give away the free. Conker did well to get a hand on that and handball it away. Now Chaplin. They can go the Tigers here. They've got Vickery out. Nice ball by Grigg to Vickery. Dropped the mark. Plenty of time to recover. Sumner comes at him. Forcing the little turnover. Now that is a deliberate out of bounds or not. Now the umpire said no. And a great effort from Stephen May there. You can see he's yelling out because they had a loose player at the back. He called someone on to Vickery, which was really smart. He went back and covered Cochin and saved a certain goal. Day. Conker, high ball. Umpire says no mark will be paid here. Keep going if you get it. Harbrow forced onto his wrong right side. Dishes to Ablett. Ablett steady and deliberate, looking for Sumner on the wing. Vickery is there with the punch away, so was Chaplin. So just the goal kicked in 16 and a half minutes of play here. And that one was by Griffiths in the first minute of it. So scoring is all dried up. It's, uh, it's going to take now a player. For me, the team, who wants to stand up inside Ford 50 because there's no winners in either Ford 50 at the moment. Only one mark each this quarter. I'll tell you what, this guy is really starting to wind up Prestia. Starting to get plenty of it. Swallow coming from four deep. Got it at the ground level, Richo. Here's Swallow, short ball, dishes it off. Very nicely and finds that. Matt Shaw. Well, it may be at Swallow because the last two times forward, he's created something, this talented player that he is. It's a real stalemate now, and it's probably going to take a bit of individual sort of brilliance Daddy, Daddy, in Daddy. either 50 to win this game. 45 minutes since they've kicked a the goal, Gold Coast. Back. And Shaw is directly in front, 40 metres out. Steps to the plate from just inside 50 and to the right. 
The last eight scoring shots all behind. It just happens, doesn't it? Yeah. I uh, just wonder whether or not there might be a move that either Damien Hardwick or Bluey McKenna can make. We've got the big forwards at either end, but no one's really on. looking like they're going to kick four or five goals and win the game. I wonder if you went the small forward line, gave it a bit of extra run, left Cochin one out on his own and tried something a little different. Ablett from 40 metres out. Pressure from the left, pressure from the right and straight through the middle, Ablett. And, of course, it was going to be that man to break that run of eight behinds, I think it was, from the Gold Coast Suns. If he gets a look at it around that sort of territory, he, he's not going to kick it behind. A little master, and that gives them a little handy break again now. The Gold Coast Suns, 11 points, drawing in on three-quarter time in a game that's not high scoring. Now, that's a really handy break now for the Suns. I'm straight back here. Reasonable evening's work for Gary Ablett so far. After 29 disposals, kick the goal. There we go. Three tackles, five clearances, 12 contested possessions. He's an absolute genius. 335 for Gary Ablett, joining our own Tim Watson on those career milestone of 335 goals. So he has done extremely well, Gary Ablett, in his 254-game career. And that one was much needed. Richo talked about the next goal and who was going to step up. Ablett's first of the game. Holding, Richmond! Coming in a time of great need. Free kick going the way of Hampson here. The Tigers need to now try and see if someone can get something Keep going on, forward. Hampson goes down the line looking for Vickery. McKenzie flew. Cochin somehow kept it alive. And the ball actually went out and come back into play, but Pettit takes the mark. Cochin steps off in the interchange there. In the meantime, Pettit goes long and deep to the advantage of the Tigers. Ball spills, needed to trap it on that occasion, May. It was just a little bit sloppy. Alice was able to get back to his feet. Now the Gold Coast have got some numbers. Shaw and May. Little left footer along the ground. Prestia. Wearing down on Martin. Martin trying to turn him inside out and all about. Newman with a little fumble. Picked up by Matera. Goes back to Prestia. He ducked under it. He wanted the high tackle. Oh. Martin's got him wrapped up. They threw it out in the end. He just got it and threw it. Surely not a legal disposal. High contact. You're allowed Thank to you. just sort of drop it out now. I just wanted to keep going. There's Nathan Foley. He's... About to be subbed into the game. Lingy, who do you think is going to be the one that comes off for Nate Foley? Well, I can only assume it's going to be a big guy. Get Nathan Foley on there. Throw a bit of extra run. Gold Coast have had the momentum in this quarter. You've mentioned they haven't capitalised. Took until Gary Ablett kicking that goal for them to, uh, to make the most of it. But I reckon they'll take a big fella off and get Foley in amongst the action and maybe throw a Martin, Deledio, Cochin type player forward more to try and kick a couple of goals. So Nate Foley, I mean, both subs will be activated. Sometimes you're just trying to look to give the opposition what they don't want. If you went small forward, they've got May, they've got uh, Warnock, they've got big body defenders who aren't going to like matchups like the ones that Lingy just mentioned. It be interesting to see if, uh, if that's something they think about doing. Good crowd, as you can see in that shot. 11-point margin, Gold Coast way. O'Meara on the charge. Swallow, Ablett, all the stars for Gold Coast around the footy. Asprey in the middle of them. Hampson tried to punch it away. Edwards tried to give it a tickle on. Picked up by Nichols. Back to Lemons. Around the corner, Ablett, beautiful. Now, on the run, no problems, but from the standard start, no. There's a big difference in the game inside either 50 at the moment. The Gold Coast have kicked all of their goals from play. All seven goals have come from general play. Whereas Richmond, five of their goals have come from set shots and they really need to get something going at ground level inside their forward 50. Beautiful kick from Delidio finds Newman. It's probably an area going forward for the Tigers this year. They need to find small forwards that can kick goals from ground level. Delidio, very confident in his ability to find the guy that presents straight at him. 
Martin wants the same to happen here for Alice, but he didn't come strong enough. Edwards did. Fortunately for him. Edwards around the corner. Hooley's broken to the wing. Half forward area. Taken the mark and did it nicely. Basher Hooley. He should just go straight away now, Hooley. Gee, Griffiths really wanted it, demanded it, but did not get it. Long and deep. The Tigers' victory. Tried to take it away there. Thomas Swallow now through some traffic. Kept the arms free. Riscatelli tried the knock on to Presti. He didn't quite come off. Conker's there. Did he have the footy? Riscatelli now holds it in and under. Umpire says play on it came out. Prestia looking for a red jumper anywhere will do, he says. Now May. Steady the ship and finds Day. Once again, it comes to ground level and the Suns have been really good at not conceding and mopping up and rebounding outside their 50. Wow. So a lot of pressure goes, on there. Yeah. Looking for some control here. Looking for some spread. Trying to spread the defenders. Nichols. Goes short. McKenzie. O'Meara. Picks it up beautifully off his toes. Kicked a great goal on the run in the first quarter tonight. Sumner presented nicely immediately to Presta. Prestia, who is getting a lot of the footy in this quarter now. Opportunity again for Swallow. Richo said he could be the man. Lynch goes in, gives it to Sumner. Sumner has he got time to straight? He has, but not enough to the face of goal. BT, Richmond have brought off one of the big fellas. Ben Griffiths is the man who's been subbed off. Nathan Foley into the game. Yeah, well called. Lee, you're right onto that, and it makes sense to get a bit of extra run here in a game that not ideal conditions to be a big man. We haven't seen a lot of pack marking. It's hot and humid and, and pretty greasy out there. Goal apiece in the third quarter. Gold Coast by 12 points. Vickery's got to beat a couple in the air. And now Prestia and Rewalt kept his feet well there, Prestia. Having a really good game. Bit of a no-look handball. Got them lined out out the far side. Gold Coast, if they can find it. The boot of May needs to be good. It is. It's the first... That, that long kick there to Vickery. The first and only player for Richmond at ground level was Rewalt. It's probably not the player you want to be crumbing the ball. He's a good ground level player, but just got to get more numbers to the fall of the footy. One last chance if they're quick enough here. Probably going to run out of time. Down to 10 seconds. Swallow at half back. And they will not add any further score now. Goal apiece in this third quarter. Gold Coast lead is by 12 points. 7-13-55 to Richmond, 6-7-43. their defence this year but the game is about winning the game and, and you've got to get the ball on you've got to take a risk into the corridor be bold enough to win it whoever's brave enough I think will go on and win it interesting that the, the three leading possession getters for Gold Coast all their guns Ablett, Prestia, Riscatelli and Swallow in fact all four of them Delidio out of the middle with the first clearance for the Tigers Rewalt able to focus his attack on the footy a high tackle there I think it's Harbrow underneath all of that in fact, it's not. It's Broughton. Rewald a little disappointed. McKenzie with that beautiful left boot. Goes wide. Looking for Stanley. Kicked a couple of long goals tonight. And the ball in neutral territory on the wing. She's got a great leg on him. Coming out of that back 50, McKenzie. Matt Thomas has gone to Ablett at the start of this last quarter, as you can see there. Nichols and Hampson. Hampson again getting hand to the footy. Do the Tigers end up with it, though? They do. Foley, the sub, who's been activated just before three-quarter time, Lingy told us the news. Dustin Martin has pushed to be the deepest forward for Richmond. That's a good move, Damien Hardwick. He is very good one-on-one, -on -one, obviously can take a mark and a powerful unit at ground level, Dustin. There he is with McKenzie. Hampson again. First use. Geez, good at that. O'Meara. And Richard, what, what it's done too, you mentioned it was McKenzie who's been dragged back there. It brings McKenzie out of the play. He doesn't have that attacking weapon across half back. He's deep and he can't use that beautiful kick of his to as much advantage for the Suns. What can you see transpiring here, Lingy? 
in uh, terms it, of a result. It all comes down to Richmond's ability to take the game on through the middle. Like that one, great by Cochin taking the ball forward. If they can do that, they'll still win this game. Nichols head over the footy. Lemons under some pressure there. Picked up in the end. Foley gave it to Cochin. Zigzag through traffic. Great give. Edwards gets a really clean look. Runs to an open goal. And the Tigers are back within a goal. Well, Lingy said it beautifully, and it was Trent Cochin took the game on, followed it up, and won a hard ball at ground level. We got it through to uh, Shane Edwards. And that's what they needed. They need to get some goals from general play, and that's the first one of the last quarter to Shane Edwards, who hasn't had a big night, but he can have a big quarter and, and help the Tigers get over the line. Oh, this is brilliant to see Trent Cochin, the young Richmond skipper, standing up in a big moment. Look at the skill, the poise and the hands to set up a goal. He's going head-to-head -head with Gary Ablett. They've almost got identical numbers. Cochin, 32 possessions. Ablett, 30. They both kicked a goal. And he's really stepping up at the big moments here, the Richmond skipper. What about the tap? Kick four of the last five, the Tigers. Hampson, a long bomb inside 50. Vickery caught just a moment behind, a yard or so. Now Edwards gives chase. Shaw was there for Gold Coast. So was Grigg. Yeah, Dust has, has brought it up a number of times, and he's spot on. He's just always that half a metre off the play at the moment, Ty in the forward line, and just behind, and hasn't been able to have a real influence. What about that number on the screen there? Gary Ablett has yeah. now registered 30-plus disposals in 90 of his past 150 games. He's done it again tonight. That is ridiculous. At the best level. And I think it took him... Play it. Took him a long time to get 30, his first 30, but since then, floodgates have opened. Ellis had the ball ripped out of his hands just as he was ready to go. McDonough, sharked by Swallow. Gold Coast trying to break through. Cart, Floss Tone has marked in the middle of the ground. He'll look at to drive it long. He does. High footy, who's under it? Here comes Rewalt. Couldn't get a real clean run at it. Opportunity now for Martin. Keeps his feet. The rest go to the deck. Look at the Tigers. Went soccer style, Jack, when had, Edwards was there. Had to pick pick it up then, Jack. Had Shane Edwards in front of him out. Stats uh, guru Josh has just informed us it was his 103rd game when he got his first 30-plus game. But since then, all of those that we just saw. It's almost stock standard then in every game there since then. Been unbelievable. Ablett. And started the season the way he left off last year as well in fine style. As Thomas told to play on, umpire said he took a step forward. McDonough goes with a long drop punt. This time Vickery's in front. Had to come from behind May. Martin on the left boot. Got good purchase. Tigers are in front by a point. I love the coaching from Damien Harwick. He made the move. Small forward in the goal square. Jack Rebolt's leading up out of the play. Look at the Richmond fans. They've travelled up here in their thousands. And I reckon it's a really good move. There it is. Vickery's down there as well. Martin's such a good one-on-one -on -one player. McKenzie was a really good kick and good attacker from defence, but he'd be nervous playing on Martin, and they get rewarded straight away. Tigers are back in front. Yeah, it was a great move, and the first two goals this quarter have come yeah. from, from play. They haven't relied on marks as they had for three quarters. So they've able to generate goals from nothing, really, and you have to do that to win a tight, low-scoring game like this. The last 85 minutes, the Suns have led this game, and all of a sudden, the Tigers put their nose in front by a point. Conquer out of the middle. Cochin involved again. And here's Newman, the former skipper. Long ball, high ball, Vickery, Martin, all there. I think Ty Vickery won't want to hear the tape uh, of our commentary afterwards, but once again, as Martin had a one-on-one, -on -one, Vickery led his man into that contest. It didn't help. It gave Stephen May the chance to come over the top. He had to read the play. Leave Dustin Martin one-on-one. -on -one. Thomas gathers eventually. Gave it to Grigg. He's a left footer. This goes to the top of the square. Danger, danger here for Gold Coast. They've got to wait for it. Rewalt did well to contest. Foley with the sharp hands. A little kick out of the pack there was from Cameron, the first gamer. Here goes Swallow. Conker couldn't nail him. Swallow tucks it over the arm. A couple of bounces. Turn, looking for some running support. Eventually got a long ball forward. Got to come over the top. And he does, Lynch. And he's been paid the mark. 35 metres out on a very, very slight angle.
It's a great kick there from Swallow. It was really good composure. He gave it enough elevation, Richo, to set it up for Lynch to do exactly that. And really smart. Got through here with speed. And then to stop and prop and kick it as well as that was brilliant. Yeah, it was fantastic. How's the speed, though, to run and carry out of the back 50? Lynch with a big-time goal. They've been hard to come by tonight. And he gets the Gold Coast back in front by five points. A great shot at goal by Tommy Lynch. And they're going to have to make them count now. They've been inaccurate all night. And you get the feeling there's not going to be a lot of opportunities to score. And if you get a set shot now in this game, you must nail it. And good composure. A young leader at the club. A great contested mark. But then had the composure to go back and kick the goal, uh, Tommy Lynch. It's a really good sign for him. Now tell me he's an elite endurance, endurance athlete, which showed this man, Tommy Lynch, and a bit the way you played your game was just running defenders into the ground, and you can just see there, this game as it goes on, he's still covering the turf beautifully, and that was a big, big moment in this game for the Gold Coast. All right, things starting to really hot up now. Hampson again, Conker, Cochin, clearing kick out of the middle. In between the sandwich was Jack, couldn't elevate as a result of that. Newman will want to turn and get it back inside 50. Does with a kick, quick kick, but to no avail. Out of bounds on the full. Right on the spot. Warnock. Just Jack. slightly starting to open up a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's happening out of the middle of the ground for Richmond. They've had the ascendancy at the centre square bounces at the start of this quarter. Just got to tighten up in there, the Suns. Hooley, great hands over the top. How good was that awareness? Floss Tone around the corner with a high footy. Vickery's got to jump past three or four of them. Almost did it. May was in there, held up by Rewalt. Well done by him. Starting to really come into the game. Edwards, little quick kick over the top. Riscatelli, not the required journey, umpire says. Keep going. Ablett around the back. Great little kick, finds Swallow. Yeah, the clearance is a 7-1 Richmond this quarter. The angle on that won't be cut off. Prestia did well. Got his man under the footy. Couple of bounces now. The human meatball. The boy out of Assumption College. A third bounce. Prestia. What does he do with it? He says, someone come at me. I'm a good kick. Kicks it high. Mark taken. Yes, Day. Great set up by Ablett in the back half. Great run by Prestia in the middle. And a mark to finish by Day. Just terrific slingshot footy. And what a great run from Presti. But, gee, that was intelligent. He knew exactly what he was doing there. He called on the first player there, Lynch, as you see in the screen. He called at him to lead up at the footy because he knew that May was free at the back to take this mark. Just their second entry inside 50. Will it be their second goal? Richmond have had 11 entries inside 50 this quarter. Day! Two entries, two goals, Gold Coast. They lead it by 11. Yeah, what a reply that is from the Gold Coast. And Prestia, I'm unbelievably impressed with the player he's becoming. Second in the best of Ferris last year. And he has gone from the meatball, as uh, Bristol calls him, to a bit more refined. He covers the ground beautifully. 28 disposals, gut running play. And a big reply there for the Gold Coast Suns. And big Sam Day on the receiving end of a ripper. Yeah, big goal there from Day. And they've just had the ascendancy with the contested uh, marking inside 50 tonight. Some two in a row now and two goals. And Richmond got back in front. And then the answer from the Suns. Can Richmond respond now? This has been really impressive from Gold Coast to be headed and then have the composure to get their act back on rail. And here is O'Meara. Tidies up in the back. Stanley, a little quick give. Matera almost threw it out the back door. O'Meara said, I'm just going to advance this forward as long as I can. And a really good mark by Asprey. Yeah, great courage, young Davey Asprey. He's an improver for me over the year, over the summer, I should say. And that'll do his confidence the world of good. Broaden, one hand up. Looking for someone in the middle. And now has to go back and settle for a kick to a contest. Looks for the Ablett Hooley one and ran out of tarmac. So, what do we got? 11 minute mark, 13 minutes left in the game. Any changes need to be made by either coach at the moment, guys? Are you happy with the way it's going? 
I think uh, both coaches did, did make a little bit of a change at three-quarter time. Martin went forward. Cross can come down to individual efforts now. Who can push a little bit harder? Who can create something and who can get something happening inside 50? Richmond skipper has been unbelievable, Trent Koch, and he's really risen to the challenge, but he needs to find something again. It's going to be the stars. Delidio, Koch, and Martin deep in the goal square. They need to step up to the plate here, Bristol, for me. When you're down 11 points, halfway mark of the final term, that's who he'll be thinking about. He'll be thinking about his stars. Can they just pull something out here? 36 touches already for Koch, and leads Ablett on 31. Vickery, there is Ablett. Matera trying to work his way out. Nichols, the Ruckman. Saw Vickery, decided not to give it to him. Wrong jumper. Now in the middle, Tigers two on one. Frost home, Rance. Did well, Hooley will run onto his favoured left side here. Sends the ball long and deep. Newman caught behind. Just was led to the ball in the end at the back. Broughton, funny little handball. Got it over the top to May. He's got a beautiful left foot stroke of the footy. Now Matera takes a bounce, has a look downfield, sees something he likes in Lynch. Lynch marks. Difficult angle, the most acute angle in footy. Goes long to the square. And great get by Asprey because Shaw was there ready to accept the mark. Yeah, great play, Asprey. Good play from Lynch, though. He identified it, played on quickly. It was a fine line on the goal line, but good save. I just wonder if it's time now as Gold Coast have wrestled the ascendancy back in the middle to bring... Oh, that bad turnover oh, by no, Richmond. Go ahead, Lingy. I just wonder if it's time to bring Dustin Martin back around the ball. His experiment worked well in the start of this last quarter up forward, but Benny, get here? your guns back around the footy. I think right as I'm speaking now, the runner's just gone out and told him, get yourself up the ground, get yourself involved in the play. Get a few entries for the Tigers. Poor kick, intercept mark here, Swallow. He is 0-4. Hasn't been a great night by boot in front of goal for him. It's true, though, now, Brian. He is. 40 metres out, directly in front. And that's a really good goal. Gold Coast have kicked the last three to lead by three goals. Good smile on David Swallow's face. And Troy Chapman, they're the ones that keep you up at night. A shank from full back. He was trying to take a bit of a risk through the corridor, which you have to encourage. And David Swallow, it's been a pretty good performer tonight. And it feels like a fair way back here now for the Tigers. Still plenty of time, but they can't afford the next goal to go Gold Coast way. Could be a history-making day today in football. Never before have GWS and Gold Coast won on the same day. And here it is, GWS with a big upset earlier today and Gold Coast against one of the top four favourites, the Tigers on their home track. Here is the man Lingy spoke of, Martin, pursuing Riscatelli. They gang up in the end on shore and win the footy. Go forward, petted there. Rewalk trying to keep it moving forward for him. Couldn't get it done in the end. McKenzie. Quick ball out, and that will be out of bounds on the full, and a foley free. Well, at the end of the day, the, the Suns have had 24 shots at goal to 16, and they, they have been the better team all night. Who's going to stand up for Richmond now that on, wrestled back their game? Conquer to a very crowded Richmond forward end. Over the back, couldn't get hold of it. Warnock, handball. Just went for the distance more than anything. Here's Ablett. Steps on the gas. Not much in front of him. Has to weave it up with handball. Sumner looking for the give and go, but they give it back to the superstar. Another one, two. Back to Hall. Good play. Can they finish it off up this end? Lynch over the top. Keeps his feet. Rance there as well. First to recover is Rance. Had some help by Morris. Well done, Morris. Just in the nick of time. Now the Tigers have got their numbers. The counter attacks on. Foley, they need to score and do it quickly. Ten minutes remaining in the game here now. The Tigers are three goals down. Warnock, Broughton, clever tap. Nichols, risk a tally. All involved there. Brilliant play. Lemons to finish it. Couldn't find Ablett. Now Ablett does it well. Handball over the top. O'Meara. O'Meara can nearly go all the way. Handball off. An opportunity for Sumner. 40 in closing misses.
would have just about stitched it up there. Well, it, it may have because it gives them that extra point that they need now. Not, now it's four goals Richmond need, and they're, they're finishing full of more running than Richmond. The slingshot they've got going in this quarter, it's a great effort because they've been down one rotation for nearly all of this second half. I just wonder where the runner might wander around alongside Jack Revolt. It hasn't been a night for him to remember so far. He's got an opponent Warnock, I reckon, at the start of the game, you would have thought, here's a big chance for me. I need something late, this might be... Oh, did Matera oh. get rid of his man illegally? Handball did. over the top, and Lynch is going to kick the goal. Four in a row for the Gold Coast, and they lead it by 25. Well, that's a genuine nail in the coffin, that one is. And We'd like to have a look at that uh, push out from Matera. That looked like a, a decent shove in the back. So nevertheless, that one is in the scorebook, and it really has been fairly comprehensive, you'd have to say, from the Gold Coast Suns. And that one will uh, just about be it, I think. Well, let's have a look at this here. It's uh, Floston and Matera. Oh, look, shoes to the body. I reckon Floston may have put a little bit of sugar on top of it as well and didn't look to be too much in it. From that camera angle, you probably need another angle to, to be sure of it. Ten minutes ago, the Tigers led by a point. Now it's a game-high margin of 21 by Gold Coast. Well, in a low-scoring game, a relatively low-scoring game, Richmond have given up two runs of four goals in a row without anything in between, and that, that's crucial. You can't afford to let that happen. Martin out of the middle. Shaw comes at him. The familiar brush off by Martin. Now the long ball up inside 50. Lots of Gold Coast jumpers here. Broughton, McKenzie struggled to get it on boot. Did in the end just keeps in the field. Yeah, and Louis McKenna's decided that that uh, run of four goals and 25 points is enough just to get a bit of extra uh, numbers back in defence. Stanley's playing loose back. Harbrow's playing off his man a, a bit as well. So probably the right move, I think, at this stage. Yeah, definitely. Well, they are 25 up to us, and with eight and a half minutes to go, good decision, you would think. Here is Rance. Steady. Richmond now are in urgent need. An obvious thing to say. They've got to score now. What are our mates travelling down there, old Mickey? <laughs> what about the guy next to him? <laughs> he's not happy. He's, a, oh. he's as passionate a Richmond supporter as you could ever imagine, Richo. <laughs> he looked in pain. Oh, he's yeah. in pain. He's had of course his heart he's in pain. Out tonight. Oh. Poor old Mick. Gee, no. he looked flat, didn't he? Up here in Tinseltown. I'm sure he'll find something to do later on. <laughs> Morris. Out wide, and the Tigers go forward again here. Griggs got the left foot. And tries to make that work now with a long ball. Delidio, the big run up off hands, almost got away with it, petted there. Edwards kept it alive momentarily. And there's a pair of wheels. Dion Prestia with the fluoro greens. Not many pairs of black footy boots around, is there? Or any more? No. Do you wear colour boots, Richo, or are you a black and white man? Yeah, they're just black and white, yeah. I guess you had enough going on up top rather than <laughs> worrying about the bottom. <laughs> oh, God, Bristol, you really shouldn't get involved in that sort of stuff. There's Lynch and Rance. This is a man who had a police escort off a football ground. Sumner looking for Lynch to outdo his man. Rance in a foot race, but Rance is equal to the task. Did really well. He said, come on, anyone going to arrive and help me? Surely, Chaplin, clever soccer, clean pick up there from McDonough. Now Morrison Grigg. Grigg with a little kick over the head of Flostone. Allows Stanley to come at the footy. O'Meara put his head over it and won a real hard one on that occasion. Asprey tidies up. Jeez, you'd love the way O'Meara plays the game, wouldn't you? He just puts his head over it as hard as anyone you've ever seen. Oh, that's, a, that's the best thing about him. He wins it in the contest. He wins it in space as well. Great young player. Little ball over the top, and it's going to be Delidio. G took a while to turn around and get it to him. And Delidio's disgusted with himself and perhaps the kick. A free kick's been paid against him too here, BT, for kicking the ball away and not, uh, not allowing the boundary umpire to get the ball. He's by himself for an eternity. Yeah, that's frustrating when you're inside 50, but that... 
Now you, you can't do that when you're the leader of the club. He's frustrated, but he can't do that. Three Richmond players fly there. 6.33, Newman from 50 metres out to give the Tigers some hope. Vickery needs to go back and convert reasonably quickly, but the most important thing, he needs to kick the goal first before he rushes. Must, must kick the goal. Even then, it's a huge outside chance, obviously. With time getting away. Vickery off a couple of steps, comes in, kicks the goal, got his second for the night. It hasn't been his greatest ever night time, Vickery, fair to say, but that's what he's capable of. He, he's a multiple goal kicker, and <laughs> fair hairdo that. Get him the Richmond supporter up here tonight, but uh, he'll look back on tonight and think there's some things he can improve. Footy didn't come down great for him at times, but I thought he just needed to adjust his starting position a bit earlier and make sure that he brought the footy to ground. He'll be better for the run tonight, I think, Ty Vickery. Well, the Gold Coast kicked three goals in six minutes, and basically that is what is going to have to happen here, even an extra, or a point at least, on top of that. Needs, need a real clean centre clearance here to Tigers. Hampson. Riscatelli got it, but Tigers have got that extra number back in Hooley. Couldn't get involved, though. O'Meara. Morris was ready to go if he had to. Thomas didn't. He's won himself for free. Advantage, advantage. Heard the umpire. It's on. Risky kick. Foley made it look better than it was. Quick hands. Now another little one over the top from Conka. Hooley just couldn't quite glove it. Picked up by Prestia, his direct opponent. Really good composure to get it over the top. The ledge. They come at him a million miles an hour, Rance. Great tackle. Gee, they're going to be a hard team to beat up here this year, the Gold Coast Suns. I think they've won eight of their last 13 up here, you said before, BT. And yeah. It's going to be a tough road trip for any team now coming up here. Fast becoming a fortress. Great little boutique stadium. Crowd starting to build as a result of their form starting to turn. And the biggest thing, BT, I underestimated before was just how talented these kids are. You, late in a game and the game's there to be won, blokes like Gary Ablett, I know he's not a kid, but Swallow, Prestia, O'Meara, these guys, they just break the game open. Unbelievable young players. And who has the better list, Lingy? GWS or Gold Coast, do you think? Potentially. Well, you'd argue GWS have probably had more top 20 picks and therefore have more talent, but I don't know how you can get much better than O'Meara, and they say that Jack Martin's a special talent as well. A couple of those talls, David Swallow. At the moment, I'm going with the Suns. Good on you, G. Pettit probably should have gone earlier into the middle there, Richo. They've got to take risks now. It's not time for conservative play. Yeah, just as soon as you get it, you just have to wheel and, and kick as long as you can if you want to try and peg back this margin in 4 minutes 45. And if Gold Coast are the professional outfit that they're maturing into, they will wow. hold down. everything up. Kick out wide, looking for Lynch, who punches it to the boundary line. As you said a couple of times tonight, to BT, history in the making if the Suns do get up with GWS. A historic win over the Sydney Swans today. And get used to that. That's going to happen a lot, I get the feeling, over the next four or five years with the talent assembled in both these sides. They are going to do some damage in this competition. Indeed they are. Martin, capable of kicking it from there, but fed it beautifully forward with a lovely little kick to Delidio. Now, go back, stop the clock at about four minutes. In an open forward line on that occasion, they pushed their numbers up, they engaged their defenders, the Tigers, and I'm sure that's something they will aim to get more of, more space inside their forward line. Must kick for Delidio. Right behind him, riding this one in, and it's out to the right-hand side. And a big miss there. Yeah, both teams have missed to that side all night down there. And we'll just see the Suns really just slow it completely down here now. Nothing out to the left there for Harbaugh at all. Eventually, a couple work out wide where they need to be. Nichols, juggling attempt at Mark. Hampson looks like he's struggling to run this one out. Cotchen around the corner with a nice little kick. Mark oh. taken by Thomas. Umpire said, keep going. Thomas realises the urgency. Finds Deledio. 
Well, Cochin and Deledio, they, they couldn't have done much more as the captain and vice captain tonight. And I guess where your improvement comes from, it's that the bottom half of your, your team. And it's guys like Ellis, it's guys like Conker, Justin. Well, look, deciding here, drop pun or right foot banana or left foot round the corner. Goes the ladder and does it really well. Well done there, Deledio. And all of a sudden, the Tigers are back within two goals. Let's just show, show you the full bag of tricks there of the modern footballer, Brett Deledio. BT called it, drop punt right, banana right. No, I'll go onto the left foot and kick it around the corner and a fantastic what? finish. 33 disposals and a goal for Brett Deledio. Eight clearances. He's played his part, as has Trent Cochin. But you just need, uh, I guess, your lesser lights to step up. Uh, brilliant goal from Brett Delidio. Bristol, are we seeing the reverse of what happened in Cairns uh, a couple of years ago when it yeah. was the big man from Rugby League who kicked the goal after the siren? Yep. Carmichael, well, we may well be, Das. It's an even 12 points. Three minutes left. Morris Brave. Now they've got the footy. Hard ball in and Richmond need a win here. Floss Tone over the top. In there was Cochin, did well to win it out, Hall in the end. It's a really tense last couple of minutes here. An opportunity for the Tigers. They need to keep it in play if they can. Yeah. Gio reckon that was out, and the umpire's call's probably right. Hardwick issuing instructions, realises that it's got to happen now. Yeah, the Tigers have opened up their 50. Only Dustin Martin back there with Swallow. Hampson, beautiful tap. Conker just missed the intended target in Floss Tone. So they really have to flick one out the back, run it with hands and try and get through the 50 and back in Martin in the one-on-one. -on -one. They're sending numbers back here as hard as they can, Blue McKenna. Foley, handball, Conker have to run it. Thomas. Oh, ho, ho. Prestia came at him a mere miles an hour. He didn't even know he was there. And perhaps a game-saving tackle by Dion Prestia. Riscatelli with the tackle on Floss Tone. They win it back, the Tigers. Morris driving kick. Two on one here. And a free will go the way of Edwards. He's just got to get this and just kick it in the 50. Martin's Martin in the one-on-one. On one. You're right, Richo. He's got to move it. Plenty of time if they're clean. Edwards goes into that one. Martin one-on-one on oh, one with his man. Kick. That's a high tackle. Boy, that could have been a free. It had to be. That had to be over the shoulder. Gold Coast out the back door. On the run is Hall. Gives it to the superstar Ablett and now Harbrow. And you think they'll steady and Ablett says, don't you go anywhere. Yeah, Ablett's saying, you just take all the time you like there. Harbrow long and deep and a little bit into the pocket so they can get it to the boundary line if they have to like that. Well, let's go back the other end. I have to say, I love the style of umpiring at the moment where a lot of stuff is let go that's uh, ticky touch with. That one is a round arm around the throat and... That's just a mistake. You have to pay a free kick there, unfortunately. The umpires are in their first game as well, but, geez, that's one that was that? Uh, overlooked. Ablett got that? one high, and he's got the free. See that? Oh, no. That's... Did he use the head as a battering ram? Well, that, that's a free kick. We're not arguing that, but that's where, I guess, fans get frustrated because you get different interpretations within 30 seconds at either end of the ground. That, that's, a, that's a free kick, yeah. Well, the other one's just a mistake, and that, and that happens, but it's a crucial stage of the game, wasn't it? So Ablett, to put an end to everything here, to extend the margin to 18 points, Ablett will excite those red shirts behind the goals with this one. They're ecstatic, so is he, and they have been terrific tonight. Lazy 40 possessions and a couple of goals for... The genius that is Gary Ablett. He can add a six clearances and three tackles to it. He's a complete freak. Yes, he is. And you can't complain if you're a Richmond supporter about a free kick down one in because the Gold Coast Suns clearly deserve to win this game. They've been in front on the scoreboard for 90% of the game time. And they've simply been the better team.
over the four quarters. Now have a look at the fans behind the goals enjoying it. That's the happiness, and this is the opposite end of the spectrum. Not happy Tiger fans, Richo. Well, you wouldn't if you if you've flown from uh, Victoria or interstate. Of course, you're a little bit flat when your team doesn't win. Brian, not just Richmond fans, any travelling fans. Ablett, 40 disposals for the 18th time. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Vickery in the middle. Half a minute remains. Almost 32 minutes ticked over here in the last quarter. Advantage. Yours. Advantage to pay. And it goes to Ablett again with 41 touches of the footy. And there'll be another three Brownlow votes going into the, into the envelope tonight, do you think? Oh. Uh, you'd have to say so. I think uh, with the Gold Coast winning that, that would be a staggering uh, result if there wasn't three votes. Prestia's been great as well. Cochin, I think, has had an enormous night for, uh, for the Tigers as well. History-making weekend. For the first time ever in a single round of football, Gold Coast and GWS have won. And the Gold Coast were terrific tonight over the Tigers, winning by 18 points. here in round one that man Jack Martin the only disappointing story we think he's got an AC injury hopefully not one that's going to keep him out for too long let's get down to Cameron Link I've got David Swallow here just a really good solid win wasn't it Richmond but the composure you guys had shows that you're maturing as a team there's yeah, um we created out the end so um you knew it was going to be tough tough ass which been a obviously a really good side so um just don't just don't be able to win and a slightly different role for you it seemed today you seem to be playing more forward of center five shots a goal would have been nice to kick straight no doubt but it's just a, a slight change using your running ability to get forward and, and be attacking as well yeah um, i was in trouble there i couldn't couldn't uh, hit a target in the first half so just kind of worked out that way. I think um, I got stuck forward and couldn't really get in the rotation to the mid. So, um, yeah, did work out right in the end. Oh, sensational effort and a great first up win. Well done, mate. Great job. Just my ear, mate. Yeah.